ain't gonna be independent of them goddamn pot of me. But we much litter. Here. Y'all can eat BBLs and y'all do all this and y'all don't even have a car. You just hey, hey, hey. Lee, you're you always jumping up, Trina. But we much bigger. You say they live. But we much little. Yeah, but you trigger. You trigger. 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 Got five people on her OnlyFans talking about you. No, we got damn 90,000. That, that, that ugly money. <laughs> Shoot crazy, wine and spirit. The official spirit sponsor of the Ugly Money Podcast, Trigger Alert, goes down extremely smooth, but it has a kick to it. You're never going to be drinking that tonight. You can go to the link in the description below and use promo code UME to get your shoe crazy at a discount. Yeah, yeah. we got that Ugly Money discount. Yeah, me, we live in here, man. man I, I want to make sure the energy right before I get this show started. So I need everybody that's watching at home to go ahead and get them likes up. That's right. Go and match that like button. Let us know where y'all checking in from, where y'all watching from. Roll call. What city, what state y'all are in right now? Go and drop it in the comments. We shout out everybody from everywhere. Hit that like button. Facebook, hit that share button. Drop them cities. Let us know what it do. I'm looking. I'm looking. Where we at, man? Hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah, yeah. Remember, remember, it costs you nothing, nothing at all to like the video. It's completely and totally free. I'm not going to hit your cash yet, mm. your PayPal, your Vimno, your Navy Federal Credit Union, or your Wells Fargo. It's completely free to like the video. Don't be a hater all your life. Just like the video. That's what makes this thing go. We're going to set a record tonight. I can feel it. I got some of the baddest, the beautifulest, mm. the most... All that. Yeah. All that. Brainiacus. All of that. It's a lot of going on here. But uh, this episode is sponsored. We got a special sponsor today. We, this, this event is catered today. Yes, it is. I feel extremely excited about that, seeing the fact that I don't have to go to Waffle House tonight. Come on now. Uh, please tell us about uh, who we got, at, who is catering this event. And if we could, could we have them come up on stage, Miss? Yes, we could. Uh, tonight we have Miss Ella's Kitchen. They are catering this event. They are located at 5464 Rockbridge Road in Stone Mountain, um, where food is everything. We have them in the house, and I want I want you to go ahead, talk to the people, sir. Let them know where you uh, you guys are located, what what you got going on, and how they can reach out to you. How y'all doing? My name is Allen. My friends call me man, and I'm the owner of Miss Ella's Kitchen. For your soul, man. We out there in the Cater, man, on uh, five four six four Rockbridge Road. But I be everywhere, man. I pull up anywhere y'all let. I do catering. I do uh, family reunions, birthday parties. I do uh, podcasts. We big boy right here, man. Yes, I'm sir. loving it, man. I'm loving it. Thank you, brother. I thank y'all for everything, man. We got the ribs. We got the chicken. We got this fish back there for y'all. We got some baked beans, some cabbage, some macaroni and cheese. So whenever y'all get th- finished doing y'all thing, y'all know what's up. And I'm going to eat good. And you know how I do. When the event is catered, I want a little bit of everything. everything. <laughs> Respectfully. All right, Make Milwaukee's sure you, on the check-in. Make sure you follow them at Eat Miss Ella's Kitchen on Instagram if you want to top in. Also, follow at Eat Miss Ella's Kitchen. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, man, we got some people in here. Mm-hmm. Ah, Wisconsin's on the check-in. Nah, they checking in. How they coming? Man, 252262. Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. Okay. That's different. Ha- well, Griffin, Harbor, Georgia. Griffin, Georgia. Street. L.A. L.A. New Orleans. New Orleans. What's happening, baby? What's happening, baby? Memphis, Tennessee, Mars. What they do, man? Raleigh, North Carolina's on the check-in. Y'all hit that like button. Drop them cities right quick. Milwaukee. 706 Columbus, Georgia. That's argumentative of what exactly is a 706, because, you know, Augusta, Georgia is 706, too, you know. Yes, yeah, sir. Queens, New York, one time on the check-in. Queens, New York, what they do, Ski, we no. appreciate y'all. Philly, I see y'all right now. I see Harlem World checking in. I see Buffalo checking in. I see East Oakland checking in. Salute Detroit, all Detroit my... in the building. Yeah, D-Town, one time. What up, Dope? J- James Hunt is here. What up, Dope? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he hit him pipe down, finally. What up, Dope? Hey, come on, come on over here to the couch with, with the Eagles and the Cowboys, uh, James. 
on that. Be respectful. Yeah, them, them lions come over here to the couch with the Cowboys and the Eagles. Hey, Texas, <laughs> Crown Town, what they do? Sacramento. Buffalo, Baltimore. Yeah. Augusta in here. Baltimore, Binghamton, New York. Binging, bing, what? Bing, Bingham, Binghamton, New York. I hope I said it right. If I didn't, I Binghamton. Respectfully. Uh, Little Rock, all of that. Val Dawson, we appreciate all our triggers across the nation Buffalo. that are tapping in. We appreciate y'all so much. Salute all of y'all. Australia's on the chat. Austra Drop a bomb for Australia, please, sir. Yeah, the we biggest way. Shout out Australia. We appreciate y'all. A lot of things going on in the world today. Hey, man, the world is active, brother. A lot of things going on in Atlanta today. Let's talk about it. We ain't talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> we not talk about it. <laughs> we ain't doing that right now. Thou shalt not talk about Atlanta business on a public platform. Yes, do it. Nope. Not, Come not on, to talk about it. But there's a lot of things going on in the world today. Picks for Super Bowl. Who you got? Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. Drop a bomb. You know, I ride or die. I'm going down with my ship. I'm not going to get to picking new teams. I wouldn't be able to sleep right at night. So, you know, the Eagles are my pick. And if they're not playing, I just, you know, I got to watch the game respectfully. That ship already went down. Hey, I'm just keeping it real with myself, brother. You know what I'm talking about? So, out of the people that actually are still playing, I, you know, I can't even. Who's playing? <laughs> who's playing? <laughs> Who, who's, who's in the Super Bowl? Somebody uh, tell me. I didn't, I, I didn't know. Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. And the 49ers. And the 49ers? They, they ran it back. Um, I'll go with Mahomes. So I'll I go with the brother again. He's been doing his one, too. Give it to him. What's that other guy? Birdie? Pop Purdy? Brock Wordy? I don't know his name. No disrespect to him. I'm not going with Do him. Do you think Mahomes, Mahomes. is going to catch Brady? How many he got right now? How many? Well, How many home Mahomes, Mahomes got? He got two? How many did he win? I know he's been to like three or four. How many he did he win? Five, I think. How, how many did Mahomes win? Somebody talk to he me lost real quick. Like, he lost like. He won two? He won two, and he lost like. So wait, how two. many did Brady get? Seven? Seven. Ah, so he would have to get eight to beat Brady? No, I don't. No, no, no. I don't think that's happening. Respectfully, I don't see that happening. No. No. Want a bet? On that? Want a bet? Oh, let's do it. Let's Want call it. What are we doing? I'm going to have to come like, it's going to be like 15 years from now. <laughs> I'm gonna break this video up. I need interest on my money you now. Bet, I want it now. Go ahead, let's do it. Bet me a stack. I bet. Stack. Bet a band. I bet a band. Okay. Dead. Patrick Mahomes will will retire with more Super Bowls or tied with Super Bowls. No, 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 no. You ah! can't do both. You, cheat. you got to go with. No, wait. We we good hey! now, but you gotta pick one. No. You straddling the fence. I need you to pick where you going. With I'm going it. over. You going over. So yeah. that means he gotta retire with eight Super Bowls. Get my paw lady together. Come on, man. I'm going for that. Y'all got this live. Make sure I'm calling this bet right here. <laughs> 15, 15 yeah. years from now, I'm going to hit you. Hey, I'm going to know. Whenever like, he retires, I will be calling you his retirement. I'll be like, Biz, what's up, bro? Patrick Mahomes is tired. Today. Okay. I'm going to be calling for that. I need that. I don't know if they're going to have cash app then, but I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it's gonna be something new. For virtual app. Yeah, a virtual app. It's all good. We ain't tripping. How they come? Oh, man, we got a beautiful audience today. I mean, a beautiful audience. Yeah, it's a beautiful audience, too. But uh, a beautiful panel today. And when I, I mean, emphasis on be we've had a lot of beautiful girls on this show, mm -hmm. but, to but today is hitting different. It's hitting different. Respectfully. Yeah. So I'm going to give them a chance and an opportunity to introduce themselves. We're going to go around the stage. And so these young ladies and men can introduce themselves. We can start with you, Queen. What's up? And don't be, don't be shy. Okay. Tell them who you are, where to follow you at. Yeah. Don't be shy. We're going to start okay. with you. Then we're going to go around. Okay. Go ahead. Hi, everyone. My name's Kiara. Um, my Instagram is Kiara underscore Donye. It's going to look like Dane, but it's Donye. A lot of people get that confused because I can't put the posture over the E, but it's Donye. Okay. Um, yeah, that's my, that's my IG. So, so, so that Donye, what, 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 what is that? French? French. My dad actually gave me that middle name, and it's on my little necklace pendant. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought you was trying to do some little freaky no, little that's shit, my you know? What I'm hey, middle name. Donye. We Donye. trying to figure it out. Yeah, you know, when I, when, when I changed my name to Ugly Money Nietzsche, it was actually Nietzsche. Nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's but how you started off. Nigga ain't about to do all that yeah. Nietzsche, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, what does Miss Kiara, Kiara Donye do? Um. I do a lot of work in the clubs as mm. far as bottle girl. So I'm a bottle girl technician, they love to say, I guess. Um, okay. I work in a club. Technical with them bottles. Yes. Oh, do you twerk when you bring out with the sparkles? All of that. I'll oh, that make me want to pop one. So, yes. <laughs> you work where you spot? Where can, where, where can they find you if they look Right big? now, I'm working at Pinup. Okay, shout out to Yeah, on the east side. 
All right, remember, all Super Chats will be read and discussed in full. If there's a topic or anything that you want to say on this show, send it with a Super Chat badge or a star on Facebook, and it will be read and discussed. If there's, if you want to shoot a shot, if you want to make a comment, if you want to, if you got a topic or a story that we need to tell the world, send it with a Super Chat. We'll get to it immediately. Biz, tell about the gun line, boss. Yeah, it's your boy Biz, just chill. One half of Trigger Alert, representing that Ugly Money family. Uh, you can find me on all platforms, Biz, just chill. B-I-Z-Z, just chill. No spaces, no underscores. Salute to all of my triggers across the country. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all. And on down the line. Go on ahead, Queen. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen. I'm actually Aboriginal underscore Queen underscore 14 on Instagram. Raylon Sunflower on Facebook. So what are we going to call you tonight? Stylist. Because you got, you got about 30 names. Which, which name we using today? I'm Queen. Okay, we'll call you Queen. Yeah, I'm Queen. Okay. <laughs> I use Queen when I'm trying to be toxic and stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, 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 say, 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 we had like, like one of them, them hot, steamy nights, you know what I'm saying? And you done went home, and then the next morning, I'd be like, Grand Risings Queen. That's that toxic shit! It's the Grand it Rising. It be that Grand it be Rising. Hit you with that Grand Rising. What's wrong with the Grand Rising, Queen? It be hit you with the Grand Rising. I'm on some where, toxic. Where did that come from? I don't know. You know God. God Queen, gave that. you're supposed to know that. <laughs> God gave us that. Where, where is that grand rising It's come? because you're not really supposed to say morning because when you use words, you have to use the true definition of words. Mm. So they start saying grand rising. But I just feel like it's extra. Yeah. They know what you're talking about. <laughs> Nothing like a grand risings queen. After, grand risings queen. After, after a grand falling down in that <laughs> pit. <laughs> you know, I never did a grand risings queen. I might got to just try that just to see where that goes. Hey. I never played like I'm that. I'm telling you, it's toxic shit in the world. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, grand yeah. rising queen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, gets them every time. Is that a voice note or do I type it, that out? How so you that type it out. Type that out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Because okay. you, know, you know them tree hugger bitches, they be doing some freaky shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh. The Erica Badu's of the oh, world. Oh, they are different. Yeah, different. Okay. yeah you want a poly chick, a chick that want to goddamn eat cat for the rest of her life, get you one of them tree hugger bitches. But do, but do she wear that natural deodorant? You got to wear real deodorant. Yeah. You got to wear yeah, sometimes the green, real the deodorant. secret. You got to wear the real one out of the store. None of that whatever deodorant. No disrespect to your natural body. And sometimes queen, they don't like the shit I need, I need natural secret smell. I need it to, yeah, you know what I mean. $5 super chill. <laughs> Cedric, you heard, $5. I finally caught them MF live. I'm triggered in this bitch. <laughs> Nothing but support here, so keep it funky. Shouts out to you, Cedric, man. Appreciate it. Man, what to do, my brother? Appreciate the support, sir. Remember, all Super Chats will be read and discussed on this show. If there's anything you need to be said, if anything you want to explain, if any topic you have, send it with a Super Chat, and we will get to it immediately. All right, we're going on down the line, down the line. So we got Kiara Danye. Biz just chill. Okay. Queen. Wait a minute, hold on. Where, 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 where the Aboriginal come from? What's the Aboriginal about you? What's, what, what's that? that I, if I think of Aboriginal, I be thinking about the the, the red the red head niggas in Australia. What does that mean, by the way? You ain't got no red. Okay, so yeah. Okay. So you one of them? It, no, not okay. technically, but I would use it to be indigenous. Like, indigenous. Okay. Yeah, to right here. <laughs> well, she on her she she Drop a bomb she, for she, big words. Great, just from right me. here on this land. You so. hug trees, don't you? You one of them tree hugging women. You know, you know. Oh! Shit. Okay now, look at that nigga over there. He like, hell yeah, bro. <laughs> I got a sister wife on the way. <laughs> I'm working on it. Ah! I'm working on it. Oh man. He's a, he's and all down the line. This next young lady look like my, my my last baby mama, the one I uh the one when I got some money. Well, you got a couple dollars in your life. You know, you know your baby mama's kind of got them come up. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. got your struggle baby Star, mama. Yeah, yellow. Yeah, my baby. You know, my first baby mama looked like she got a little bulldog in the face. Yeah, family. respectfully. But by the time I fought for Phil, when I was getting that money on, when lit. I became a six figure high value man. Come on now. Yeah, you're getting it looking pretty good. Hey, there you go. All right, ma'am, go ahead and introduce yourself, Queen. You definitely gonna have to come with me. Okay. Hey. Hey. Respectfully. My name is Lexis. Mm. Lex. Mm. Big Lex. Mm. You can find me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Funhouse Lex with two X at the end. Funhouse. Funhouse. Ooh, you selling tickets to that fun house? Goddamn. Hey. <laughs> fun 
<laughs> How about Fun your car? <laughs> Funhouse legs. What's, and tell us something about Funhouse legs. Funhouse legs. I like to stay mysterious. Okay. Follow me Ooh. on Instagram. Watch my story. Mm, okay. Slide in her deal. Don't slide in the deal. Damn. If you ain't got the check. How? Huh. She's coming with that energy off top. Yeah, that's the energy. That's her energy. I like Stay it. Out Stick into DMs. it. Stay, Stay out, out the DMs. DMs unless they got that bag ready to go. I don't know. Okay. Well, Hold on. We'll, 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 we'll unpack it this episode. <laughs> no, not unpack it. <laughs> One time for Fun House Lex on the show, man. And ladies and gentlemen, last but not least. <laughs> Our female financial advisor. No, that's right. The legend. The inspirational. Yeah. Motivational. Yeah. But always monetizable. <laughs> Pippin Kid is in the bed of my live studio. I just make some noise. Pippin is Pippin is Pippin. What to do, my brother? Hey man, thank y'all for that warm welcome. That's right. This is Pippin Ken, aka Ken I, the CEO of Hip Hop Fraternity, thehiphopfraternity.com. You also can catch me on YouTube anytime. Just type in Pimpin' Ken. That's my channel. And see my uh, podcast, If You From The Game, Ugly Money. All of us be chopping up good game on there. Also, I want to give a shout out to my son, who's my artist, Ed One, the real, uh, the great, Ed One, the great Supreme. And uh, my man, Jet, uh, Jet Boy Cash. Also, I want to give a shout out to Boosie, who's, I'm his literary agent and Ice-T. Go get those books across the track by Boosie and The Split Decision. I also have the movie coming out on Tubi with Boosie called The Making of the Autobiography for Celebrities should be coming real soon. Thank you. Shouts out to Pippa Kane, ladies and gentlemen. Pippa, and Pippa, my Pippa. name is Ugly Money Nietzsche. Yeah, and I do a little thing, a couple things, know a couple people. You know, I came out, you know, I started OnlyFans. You saw my yeah, I started OnlyFans. Oh my, God. my OnlyFans name, Pooh Bell. <laughs> you ain't never, you ain't hear about it. I wear a red shirt with no paints and put honey on bitches and make them say Christopher Robin. <laughs> Yeah, you can follow me on OnlyFans and pull. <laughs> hey. That shit would be kind of hard, though. Drop the link in the Come bio. Come on, you got to drop your link in the Cause bio. Because, you know, they got BBW, right? They got BBW content. Yeah. I'm coming with that BBM. Get in there, brother. Ooh. Gonna look like a Rottweiler on a Chihuahua. <laughs> Lord, okay. Uh, pour up the drinks. We got some shoe crazy. Yeah, let's, we'll do let's some drinks. Out, let's do yeah, something. We're we about to get to the topics. Uh, y'all ladies pick, figure out which which one of these shoe we'll crazy warm up, we'll flavors y'all the, want uh, or whatever. Uh, the first flavor. topic is, is brought to With. us by Shoe Crazy Wine and Spirits. You can go to Shoe Crazy Wine. You can follow them on Instagram at Shoe Crazy Wine. Or you can go to the link in the description. Use promo code UME to get a 10% discount on me. Yeah, I'm going you know, to put some. I'm gonna put something to your bottle. You dig what I'm saying? If you want to drink one I'm drinking, I drink shoe crazy. I don't drink that other stuff. I drink black on, I drink shoe crazy. Link in the description right now. Tap in promo code you and me, and you get automatic 10% discount. And they got all type of flavors. They got that bellum, they got that blueberry, they got that chocolate. What are we doing? Are we doing whiskey tonight? We doing peach cobbler. All right, ladies. So our first topic of discussion. <coughs> our first topic of discussion. We gonna start. We gonna start easy. Yeah, actually, the, uh, the uh, all the shoe crazy information is scrolling under the screen right now. We got that. We got that futuristic. We got that. I got that Gilbert Arena shit right now. Well, that's top of tally. Okay, ladies, name a toxic trait that some guys have that low key turns you on. Okay. Mm. Mm. What's some toxic that a man do that just a uh, turn you on? Toxic. Uh oh, Aboriginal, go ahead. Look like you got something to say? I don't like toxic. I you don't like you I got like you know, a level headed man. You like level headed man? If any toxic uh -huh. going on, uh -huh. I like to be the toxic one. Oh, okay, that's, that's, that's toxic. But one thing. That's toxic that a man do. Uh, it turns me on. Okay. If he did done something, yeah. and I'm trying to cut him off, when he buy gifts, derail me back in. Huh. <laughs> so you can't be bought. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, okay, we can buy it. 
I'm just putting it. I'm just making sure. Okay, cool. That's toxic as hell. Hey, I just fucked your cousin. Here's the bag. I love it. Saying it like you that. lose me. Go buy ahead. Me back. Go ahead. Go ahead. I agree. I agree. You I lose me. Buy me back. Buy. Oh, buy. That's all the real niggas in the chat was just trying to figure out if it was for sale. Go ahead, Kia. Go ahead. Talk to me. No, Talk I'm to me. Saying, I don't think she's saying it like you can buy it. I think she's just saying like, you know. Show your appreciation. I mean, you know, Show make up. up. You know no. what I like. Yeah, you know what I like. So I feel like that's toxic. I feel like, you know, once a man do something cheat uh -huh. or, you know, and you're trying to cut ties, uh -huh. he's making it hard for you to cut ties yeah. because he's coming with, you know. Yeah. Okay, so so I'm just making sure so I understand. If I'm your man and I just happen to accidentally fall into Kiara, okay, what kind of gift are you expecting to take me back? Are we talking like some shoes? Are we talking like, you know, uh, 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 some some bundles? Because I got a bundle plug. Um, are we talking about like cars or something? Like what, what we talking about like? If you fall into Kiara. I fell into it. <laughs> I fell into this shit right here. You see this? You see this thick ass shit right here? It's going to be real hard for you. Okay. Okay. It's going to be real hard for you. So, I mean, this might be months and What about a dog? Can I buy you a dog? Months and months of trying to get back, so. So it's a process of buying things back. What if I bought you a Frenchie? Come, come on now. Come on. <laughs> you know you like the motherfucker. <laughs> Back to the question. Okay, I'm just trying to see what I need to buy. Something toxic that turns me on. Okay. That a man could do. There it is. See you trying to, you know, cut ties or whatever, cut uh -huh. them off, and he's, you know, doing whatever it takes to get you back. That's some that turns me on. I like it. I like it. Y'all go ahead and get that like button up right now. We just hit 200 people. I need 200 likes right now. We are going to hit a record tonight. I want 1,000 people on this live today. Go so ahead hit that like button. I'll stop play, playing elevator music. Fellas, if you got more than $2 on your cash app, hit the like button. Go Ladies, if your cat don't smell like dumpster juice, hit the like button. Fellas, you got more than two inches between legs, hit the like button. Come on, man. Don't be a fuck nigga all your life. Ladies, ladies, if that cat smell like strawberries on a Sunday afternoon, hit the like button. Mash it, mash it, mash it. Hit it, hit it. All super chats will be read. Remember that. Eileen is on the check-in. That's the only person I'm shouting out. And Mama. Mama. <laughs> Kiara, name something toxic that men do that just turns you on. I mean, I'm going to agree with um, Lex. I okay, you, you got to come up with your own. I, that's, that's Toxic. That's okay, toxic. give me another one. Though. Give me another doing, one. Another when one. When they doing everything to yeah. get you back. I got you. That's got the you. most toxic thing it could be if he's messing up. You know, he's not being loyal. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And then he comes in with everything that you love and that you want, that you're uh, talking about. You know what I mean? Frenchie, Dubai, Red Bottom. All of that. Trips. Chanel. I mean, yeah, because I've experienced that. I've gotten trips uh -huh. for Okay, went back. Went right back. I said you went right back. You went back to him, right? Oh yeah, of course. I went back. Like, That'd be toxic as hell if you make, <laughs> let that nigga do all that shit and you still dip on. <laughs> I'm coming to get a refund. No, but I did experience a guy who was trying to set up a proposal one time. Ooh. Yes. So um, we were going through arguments and you know falling out, breaking up. So he tried to set up like a girls trip with me and my friends to go to Miami. And he was gonna um, basically be waiting in the. <laughs> In the Airbnb, like mm. with the whole room decorated to propose, but I told him not. To, well, my best friend told me, you know, because she knew where our relationship was. Uh -huh. I was just like, you know, don't do that. Like, don't come. So, wait a minute. He was going to propose to you, and your best friend told him he shouldn't do it? No, she told me what he was planning. Oh, she was a hater. Drop a bomb. We don't like best friends like her. You know what? Listen. 
Uh, ladies, when you have best friends like this, they're, they're not your best friends. She was about to get proposed to in a beautiful suite in Miami and some more shit, and then she came behind her and got them spoiled the surprise and told it and told her that wasn't a good eye. Man, those are not your best friends. Ladies, please stay away from those best friends because those no, aren't really your best friends. Thing. She told me because she knew what we had been going through. So she, you know, she wanted to make me aware because she knew that how I was feeling, that like it was ending, I wasn't feeling it. It, just, it was just She need funny. to mind her motherfucking business, respectfully. I don't get you. I know she's I, your best friend, but your best friend needs to relax and let you make decisions. He had a nice proposal, okay. a nice setup for you. At least let you enjoy your moment and do your shit. Her popping up with all this. Well, you know what, Dr. Phil ass shit. Yeah, listen, those aren't your best friends, ladies. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. Those aren't your best friends. Okay. $10 super chat. <laughs> Annoyed chocolate bonbons. Just supporting Biz, Pimpin' Ken, and my bro Nietzsche. Representing us big brothers on a positive note. Yes, sir. Yeah. Annoyed chocolate bonbons. Salute to you. We appreciate the love and support that you are giving us. You dig? What is a bonbon? That's uh, some chocolate, if I'm not mistaken. I like want to try little, a bonbon. Little, what you call it? Eat a bonbon off a bit. Uh, Could you eat a bonbon off a chick? Uh, I don't see nothing wrong with it. That's out the bonbon. All right, buddy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, Miss 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 Queen. Same question. What is something toxic that men do that just really just turns you on? I don't really know if it turns me on or if it's the. I guess you would say makeup sex. I don't okay, really, okay. I don't really see nothing toxic turning me on. Now, if he jealous, tight, that may turn me on, but it. Yeah, that shit toxic. You say he's jealous. If he's jealous at the time, or we're out, and you know he's just being jealous. Uh huh. That could turn me on. So if he want to fight random niggas at Roof Chris, yeah. you like shit like that? What's going on? Yeah, it's aboriginal, aboriginal, aboriginal. What's going on with you right now? If my nigga about to get the fight in, oh you like oh, that? Yeah, we we going in. We gotta go in. We gotta go in. Brother, don't we do that shit. Don't in. be listening to this crazy shit. You running up on these random niggas at Roof Chris and these three four niggas jump no, on you no. and wrinkle your whole fucking collar in the parking lot. Brother, don't listen to this young lady. And then she gonna talk shit. Then about she you gonna like, talk shit when you get your ass whooped. She gonna be like, don't be talking to me. You ain't talking to them niggas yeah. like that in the parking lot of Roof Chris. Don't fall for it, sir. That's the pump fake. Don't go for that shit. Stay peaceful. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's toxic as hell. That's some toxic. Y'all some yeah. toxic motherfuckers right here, man. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot right here. Biz, what's some toxic shit a girl do that you like? Not a motherfucking thing. Don't call <laughs> me back. Do that. Since you're so fucking toxic, I got a great idea. Don't fucking call me no more. How toxic is that right there? I don't be having time for you taking time to do dumb ass shit and excusing it as a grown ass adult as uh, classifying it or putting it under I, I was being toxic. Listen, man, we grown as fuck. If you got a problem, talk to me. If it's something we need to handle, let's handle it. But all that weird ass shit, uh, tearing up my shit, breaking windows, uh, stalking shit, I'm dead on all of that and I'm putting restraining orders on you. If I know how to do it and can go about it the right way, I need Need you fucking 50 feet away from me yeah. with your crazy dumb ass. Don't like toxic. I'm good on that. I'm straight on it. Salute to you in the jail that you go to. Shit, I'm 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 on it. I'm on. I like that shit. Hey man, listen, listen. Let me tell you something toxic that I like, goddamn. This is only if you're my woman. Bitch, pop up at my house while another bitch does. Fight that bitch. Then get in the beat. Hold on, slow down, slow down. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Say toxic, I mean toxic. Wait a minute. What the fuck is yeah. going on? Wait a minute. Okay, so Lex, I is, start Lex, start. Lex is my old lady. She's your old lady. I'm in here with with Kiara. Kiara she's y'all chilling. Boom, we get to it. Y'all got a vibe. All right, right. Okay. Lex bust in. She she wait. She bust the door. No, nigga, she got a goddamn an extra key made. Nigga, oh, she we, got every key girl on. do that. Man, you didn't stand a chance, Kiara. Every Go ahead, continue. That. So she, Lex got an extra key made. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So she got the key. She walked right in. Oh man. Okay. Kiara said, "Oh." Huh? Butt naked. I look. I said, "Damn." That's crazy. Let's like, you better get this bitch out of here or we gonna walk. I said, babe, you gotta go. Kiara leave. Uh-huh. Let's get in the bed. Oh, I thought 
thought y'all meant, I, everybody, I thought you meant, hold on, I'm confused. I thought she like was she gonna was get in the me. bed. I thought they y'all was gonna get, okay, I got the, the story wrong, my bad. I thought That's she, a great idea. Hey, I thought that's how you was coming. That's a great idea. If you, if you pop up at my house, you might as well join. Yeah, I, that's what I thought you was going to. You messed up the story for me. That's what I thought was about to happen. You uh, think you got it like that? What's, yeah. <laughs> Drop a ball yeah. yeah. What's Why wrong with that? <laughs> Why wouldn't I? That's what I was yeah. thinking was going to happen. Yeah, you know, you know what? I like that. You know, Lex, you should just join us. You should just hang out with us. <laughs> Y'all should I mean, sit down and I work mean, it out. It's a tight work right And tight in, the beautiful the young lady. <laughs> you said we what? Y'all don't be having the juice like that. I done been in this situation yeah. before. Yeah? What happened? What did you do? Jump in the bed or leave? I got a whole bunch of shoot crazy juice. What you talking about? <laughs> Tons of juice. Hold on. I got tons of juice. Look, my ain't had a smooth. juice like that. He had a juice All the bitch ain't had a juice like that. Oh, okay, so I it matters. Like hold on, okay. hold on, hold on. Kiara, stand up. Hold on, can I stand up one time? Can you stand up for us one time? Can you do a 360 for the camera not right not quick? Here. Hold on, I'm about to show you some juice. Yeah, man, you man, juice. Just you didn't see juice. Can't, we trying, got some juice for you right now, man. You better stand up. Hold on, 360 for the camera one time. I said I'm in the bed with Kiara. I said come on in. Get done with it. She got, we got some juice. We got juice. You ain't got the juice like that. Oh my goodness. She one of them, them selfish women. So it matters. Hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, so if she's uh, up to your speed and you catch him, does that matter? If she looks pretty, then it's like, you know what? Maybe we could figure this out. But if she ain't like, like you say, got the juice, then it's, nah, we ain't doing it. Nah, see, I done been in this situation before. Mm hmm. I'm listening. I got the juice. He ain't got the juice like that. Oh. It wasn't no come in and join. Okay. It's, he made that whole leave. Okay. Mm. And that was it. And then you got in the bed. That's what I was already on. Yeah. We figured it out. We figured it out. No pressure. We figured it out. But if I got enough juice in the bed. Right. You might just go ahead and have to hit, just, just That's join the in. juice I was talking about the minute made when I was talking. Cause if, cause if, cause if I'm with you and I got something else in the bed, it's got, it's gonna have to be official. If I'm gonna risk that, that would Talk make about no it. sense. I wouldn't. Why would I be in the bed with a bulldog if I got a, you know, a stallion? Mm. You feel what I'm saying? If it's a bad yeah, bitch, you can at least be like, that's a good question. If you catch your nigga cheating, okay. but she beautiful. Okay, good question. Are you as mad? Like oh, okay, out. let's do that. I like that question. Mm. Start with Lex. Go, go ahead, Lex. If you catch your man cheating, but she a bad bitch, like say, say I'm cheating with Ari. Tearing that thing up. You mad at me? <laughs> he thinking like, <laughs> about. Uh, he said, "Ari, uh, there's your answer right there. Drop a bomb." What about you, Aboriginal Queen? If she's pretty, well, do you let it slide? I don't know. It's the get caught, cause my nigga gonna let me know. I'm saying no. That's not a oh, scenario. Oh, no. Gee, and listen, See, you didn't know, ma'am. That tree hugger. You're just learning about it. That tree hugger shit. I told you, you about. That tree hugger shit. That tree hugger shit. You brother, just chill. Well, it's, that's not the scenario. You didn't know about it, and you came in and you unsuspect, unexpectedly caught him with a young lady. If she's uh, quote unquote bad to you, you know, will you let it slide and you figure it out? But if she like, she look a little crazy. You like, nigga, it's a wrap. It depends. Mm. That's what Cause it think. depends on how I feel. Cause I'm not big on looks, but it's like mm, I could trust my nigga. Yeah. So it's like okay, yeah, say, that said no. Say, say I'm she your nigga. She might get her ass okay, beat, and if okay. she almost beat me up, then we could fuck. Okay. Uh, she yo, wait a minute, drop a bomb. <laughs> that shit too. That's sick as fuck. Let's figure it out. Now, no, we're getting toxic. somewhere. We're getting that's somewhere. That's toxic. We're getting if somewhere. She hold on, right? If she like, can stand she up and she got a little squabble on her. We might fuck this bitch together. Okay. Bitch, okay, I get hard. it. I, I can see why you like Tim Lawrence. You know what? I fuck with that. That's hard. I, I fuck with that. Y'all toxic as hell. That's some toxic ass shit. Little busted little black so, eyes. So, so, good. So, 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 Kiara, you know what I'm saying? Me and you together, you know what I'm saying? We rocking how we rocking. And, you know, you pop up at my crib. Me and Lex in there. We going, you know, we doing what we doing. We being great. I mean... Lex, can you stand? No, we switched it already. You switched. Are, you're you not are, the main. You're you the side. You gotta it. relax, Lex. It was your turn last week. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Thank you. Now you, my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I'm in there with Lex, though. Mm -hmm. We get to what we get to. Is you fighting? Is you making a leave? Or is you joining in? Lex, stand up first. 
Yeah, sure. Lex, please give a stand up. Give him a 360, Lex. Hold on. Yes, respectfully. Okay, what are we doing? Okay. What are we doing? Okay. You got to give me a chance. I'm not that bad. Hold on. Lex looks good. I'm a pretty good person. I'm not going to take that from her, but that don't matter to me. Like, I'm not. First of all, I don't, I don't fuck women. That's not me. But that, that's not the I, question. We I know, I know. But I'm just saying, like, I can't even answer it fully because it's like, I wouldn't even. You want to get cheated on and lied to for the rest of your life? <laughs> and that be the problem with shit. These women got un 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 unreasonable expectations. Ain't no motherfucking way a nigga about to turn down all that ass and you expect them not to hit it. Are you fucking serious? What kind of pink uniform corn nigga you want? And you just said the nigga gotta have a bag. Name one rich nigga that you ever fucked with and they didn't cheat. Exactly. So the fact of the matter is at least I'm cheating good and not cheating fucked up. You should be happy. No, you want me to lie to you. And that's exactly why men lie to women because they don't want to handle the truth. Now you know damn well that ain't my motherfucking cousin. You know damn well she don't work for me. I'm hitting that. So you can either be an asset to my situation or a liability to this lie because that's where you're going to be at in the pot. Name okay. one rich nigga you ever met that didn't cheat. So you saying all men cheat? Nope, I didn't say that. I didn't said say name that. one no, rich nigga that you ever that. met that don't cheat. Name one. Turn the Jeopardy music on. Doom, 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 Obama. Doom, doom. Cow. He wrote a whole book about cheating on Michelle before he was president. Next. No, you want this goddamn super Jesus, nigga. Come on. <laughs> no, nah, not super Jesus. <laughs> All these goddamn rich niggas you done met in the club who name me one that don't cheat. Do, 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 do. Anything? No. Exactly. So don't you think it's a little delusional for you to expect and demand a man that you've never seen an example of? Your daddy cheated. Your granddaddy cheated. Your drunk uncle, he cheated. Your first baby daddy cheated. The last nigga that you was fucking with probably cheated. Why do I gotta goddamn have these high expectations? At least I got a bad bitch in the goddamn Come on. I have taste. No, oh, you want me to be a rich, monogamous, church growing? No. <laughs> What the hell? You're telling me, so you telling me that it's just a norm for men to cheat? That's no, you keep trying to slide well, that in. Got, I'm, I'm just asking. No, I'm, I'm clarification. That is not the norm I, I, at all. I, I, no, I'm not saying all. I'm saying it's the norm for the men that you've met. Because you couldn't tell me one rich nigga that you've ever had that didn't cheat. So we're talking about the men that you come across. Unless you want to make an adjustment to your claim. Oh, okay, I thought no, so. So how are you going to sit there and demand a nigga not cheat or whatever, and you ain't never met a rich nigga that don't cheat? I'm not making no demand. Okay. Yeah, you is. What demand I your, your, your ass in demand to get in the bed with me and Lex. See, this the thing. Okay. It wouldn't matter if I was the main and Kiara was the side, or if Kiara was the side and I was the main. If you in bed with her and I come, you going to put on a show for her. Oh. And you gonna make up with me later. Huh. If you in the bed with me mm. and she come, mm. you gonna put on a show for her. Mm -hmm. Cause I mean you and then you gonna Oh that one then da 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 you mm. gonna get back later. For sure. That's the thing. Oh I'm gonna There's spin no the block. Battering. I'm gonna spin the block. That's pretty right. That was a, yeah, oh, right. I'm not that cutting either one, either one of them off. Yeah. I'm not cutting either one of them. Yeah. No, Why something. would you do that? What was that about? We didn't never say Today that. Today I wanted vanilla, the other day I want chocolate. Y'all, that's what y'all do. So. Y'all turn Hollywood okay. for whoever you get caught with. Right. Like you cool on the one that caught you. Mm. And then, mm -hmm. you know, you figure you could fix that later. Right. Yeah. So wouldn't it be smarter if you know that the man is going to do that to make it a safe place for him to be honest with you and tell you, Kiara's coming over on Tuesday. Or would you rather me lie to you like I did and you have to catch me? Y'all, in my situation, y'all ain't big dog. I'm oh. big. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Group, group. Masculine women. <laughs> Masculine women. So, so you know some rich niggas that don't cheat? It's your turn to talk. Gotcha. 
What, you do? I'm in, no. Oh, you I'm here, probably cheat. I didn't no, say no, all. No, 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 but you gonna you you answer that, that question real nah, slow. You cheat, but you gonna doom, cheat right doom, back. Doom, doom, a, doom, a doom, bitch doom, doom. Doom. Can you, you just say move, no? You gonna move right? Can you just say no? Doom, doom, you doom. gonna move right? Do you know a rich man that's never had a problem with infidelity, ma'am? No. Thank you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Moving on. Twenty dollars super chat. <laughs> No, the chocolate bonbon, sweaty dollar super chat. Beautiful, fine sisters. If one bro, one of brothers gets triggered, listen to what they have to say, and not how it's said. They are feeling, they're telling you the truth, and not hiding it like simps do, because of fear of losing access to sex. Oh yeah, I'm telling the truth. I be telling the truth. I be, you know, you know what, bonbon? We appreciate like that support out there, bonbon. That's real. That's real. You know what I'm saying? I got to ask a question like, okay, well, baby, name this rich, monogamous man that, that you are demanding. Where's he at? You want the nigga to pay all the bills. You want him to take you to Dubai. You said that he has to buy you a, a Frenchie. Them bitches $10,000. So I got to buy you a Frenchie, buy you some hair, some nails, some a car, some more shit. You, you said I got to take you on these trips and shit. You, and you think I'm not laying no outside dick and I'm doing all that? You been... You think, do, though. What? I, I feel like that's, y'all going to have the whole package at home and still try to get new. How is it the whole package? I'm saying, like, as far as everything you want. Everything. Everybody I'm listening. has, you know, certain wants. What you I'm want, listening. the next man might need. Okay, I want variety. You got some of that? Can you give me some variety, please? Uh, God damn it, variety. you know what? You can change that wig, but it's still the same cat. Change the nails, but it's still the same cat. You can lose weight, you can gain weight. You can get a BBL, tummy tuck, whatever, evasive surgery, it's still the same cat. You, you got some variety since you talk about everything at home. You want a variety of different pussy? Where's the variety? Put it narrows down to, right? Yes, okay. yes. You ain't got none of that fresh out of variety. So you want different pussy? You fresh out of, huh? no, I'm not saying me, I'm just saying oh. rich men that you want to date do. I ain't rich. <laughs> I ain't got it. I ain't got it. We going 50-50. <laughs> 2023 was a tough year. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, we got to move forward. We got to move forward. Remember, all Super Chats will be read and discussed. All Super Chats will be read and discussed in full biz. Tell them what this next, this next topic is sponsored by. Next topic is sponsored by Three Young Queens. You can follow them at Three Young Queens on Instagram. They have all of the shea butters, all of the smell goods, all of the oils. It's all natural. Um, make sure you follow them. Everybody that has tapped in so far, they are growing, and, and it's part of the, the love is from the uh, the podcast, Trigger Alert. We appreciate that we can yeah. And, you know what I mean? That love and, and, and get trusting us with your business to be your ones and twos. You know what I mean? So they said they got some beard oil me. coming for you. Oh, they do. They about to see some beard man. oil. I need, I need the beard oil respectfully. Yes, I want to be up here glistening. I don't disrespect. Yeah, me. disrespectfully. Me I, I, come disrespectfully, on, man. I don't. I don't need the beard Gotta oil. Gotta relax. But we're gonna go to pimping right quick to wrap up that last topic. <laughs> I forgot what the hell we talking about. Pimpin, go ahead. Pimpin, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the most toxic shit ever happens to me most of the time is when I fire a bitch and the bitch just keep calling me all the fucking time. Like that. <laughs> calling me. <laughs> hey, man, but you know what? I love that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I love it. It, <laughs> it always <laughs> break me down. Then the next day is when she do some out-of-pocket shit and we fucking, the bitch say, choke me. Choke you, bitch. You want me to get domestic on you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you fucking me, daddy? Because the bitch like, I've been a bad girl. And I'm like, this crazy ass bitch. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, man. Oh, boy. Hey. Yeah, that's toxic. That's toxic. That's toxic. Say, I ain't got time to be choking these bitches. Yeah, now, man, what man. the hell? You can tell these folk I didn't put hey, my hey, hands on hey, you. Hey, bitch, these hoes will tell you choking in a minute, man. Hey, 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 they get choked while they get fucked, right? Right. Especially they do some out of pocket ass shit. Mm. Lex looks extremely happy right now. Hey, hey, she's, she's, hey. She, she's like, mm -hmm. well, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. It's tomato, tomato, motherfucker. What we talking about? Do we choke you to you like turn blue and shit? Like you, you or you just just a little bit, just a light choke? Like how? 
Can you demonstrate? It's like a light choke. Can, can I demonstrate? It's a light choke. What, what, what kind of choke is it? I don't know. I don't know. It's a light let me, squeeze. Let me, hold a light. on. I, I seen this on somebody else's podcast. So how's well, hold on, hold on, Biz. I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to choke. Hold on. Like, hold on. It's not choke, just don't don't actually hold choke on. her. Hold on. We lie. Like, like, like that. Okay. That's perfect. That's, that's good? Yeah. That's great. I can't go no harder than you that. You can shake her a little bit oh. if you want. Shake <laughs> hold on, like, like, hold on. Shake her. Shake her a little bit. You like, okay. shake her when you choke her. Like this? Shake her. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Shake her a little bit. I learned something new every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah nah. <laughs> hey, Kane, look, Kane in the front. Hey, Kane in the front, like, yep, that's how, yep, that's how I, uh, <laughs> Hey, Kane, let's say that. Yeah, that's, that's how that goes when I'm at the crib. Hey, man. So, <laughs> so our next topic, ladies. Um, in 2024, women, your species, are doing extremely well financially. You have more and more women that are going into the workplace and doing exp exponentially well. You know, um, I think it was the uh, women's, what is it? Women's Civil Rights Act of 1969 or something like that. Yeah, I've been okay. doing my research. Okay. Uh, and women voted to have equal job rights and things of that nature. So women are killing it these days. But as the more money that y'all, yeah, if I get, clap it up. The more money you guys make, it seems like it's harder for you all to be totally submissive to your men. So the question that I have is, why is it hard for women to be totally submissive to their man in 2024? Anybody can get him. Cause y'all act like hoes in 2024. Say his name. What did he do and how did he act like a hoe? And talking to the mic. Talking to the mic, ma'am. Go ahead, Lex. I don't know. Y'all in y'all South guy era or something. <laughs> what? I don't know. Maybe this question should be vice versa. Or why are y'all how y'all is in 2024? That's why it's hard for us to be submissive because y'all are us. Oh. Y'all didn't did a, 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 I don't know, a role swap. So you're saying that it's hard for you to be submissive because guys are submissive or guys are feminine? Guys are feminine. Oh, and so that makes you be. Y'all must want it equal rights. Y'all must want it to be like us, or y'all must want it to. No, we want to send your ass back to the poppers with that booty. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Don't group all of us men in one category because you like weak niggas. Okay, them the weak niggas you like. Them the DMs that you answer. Them is the text messages that you hit back. Okay? There's plenty of masculine men that put masculine shit down. Okay? There's plenty of men that protect and provide at a high level. You just goddamn fuck with the goddamn weak ones. That ain't nobody's fault but your own. Okay? If you go out and 20 niggas try to holler, and out of all them niggas, you pick the weakest goddamn most feminist nigga in the world. He may like what you want. Dick. Congratulations. Tell her what she want, Alex. It's not my fault you pick wrong. It's your fault, baby girl. You had a big you had a big back fat nigga that was ready to do it all. You was over there fucking with the goddamn nigga with the with the green eyes and the and the, and the curly hair and the fake Ferragamo belt. That's your fault, that ain't me. Nowadays, a lot of guys like to match energy. Ooh. Exactly. Women. Like you mean match energy? If you know, oh, well, she mad, she ain't talking to me, she ain't answering the phone, and I'm gonna do the same, you know what I'm saying? It's just like. Why am I not talking to you? Are you wrong or are you not wrong? Let's break this down. I like where you're going with that, no, though. No, accountability is something that needs to be, you know, taken. Yeah, because I don't need to be kissing your ass. If you did some shit that was out of bounds and it was wrong, and Absolutely. I don't feel like talking to you right now, that's nothing about that giving any type of energy. You out of bounds and you out of pocket, and I don't want to talk to you okay, right goddamn yeah. now. So, so you need to come to me and approach me and say, like, okay, you, maybe, you know, it's not always happy wife, happy life. I know that's been the saying forever, but listen. It's happy husband in the bills paid. Fuck you talking about? This shit is not no goddamn one-way street. We both need to be happy in this household, and if it's a problem, goddamn get to it. Other than that, no, it don't work like that. Go ahead, Kia. Let me hear what no, you said. There. like, you can respect someone's face when they don't want to talk. You know what I'm saying? I, I totally understand that, but at the same time, don't be petty. Don't try to match my energy as far as, um... Exactly. You know what I'm It could saying? be my time of the month. It could be anything. Why, Why? my hormones off. I agree. I'm all over the place. So, 
Why are you trying to match my energy when I got shit going on? So you're basically saying that a man shouldn't disrespect you back after you've disrespected him. What's disrespectful? What did she do disrespectful? Every fucking thing. <laughs> Women kill me with this not taking accountability shit. Okay, if you doing some bullshit, I might hit you with some bullshit. Because if I've told you and came to you as a man and brought this shit and this concern to you, and you turned around and tried to point the finger back at me, well then God damn it, I'm gonna need to give you a taste of your own medicine. Now when I came to you cool, calm, collected, and respectful, you know what your ass did? Denied, didn't take accountability, and tried to point the finger at me. So now when I come with some bullshit, cause you just hit me with some bullshit, don't make me weak. That means your ass, no, you weak because you don't take accountability for the fucked up shit you did. Don't start no shit, won't be no shit like Lil John said. Then I turn gay or I give it a stupid. <laughs> and ain't nothing gonna validate that. So you saying men are hoes? We're, so you're saying that men are hoes well, because? 2023. They've been doing this shit since. So so. When they, I'm listening. When they start acting yeah. like this? What yes, year they, the men start acting like this? Cause I, don't know, I just feel at like at a time niggas went acting like this. Yeah, I know, but I feel like submissive to means to have a leader. So if he's not yes. leading properly, it don't necessarily have to anything to do with uh -huh. how he speaks to you because okay. being submissive. Another thing about being submissive is you don't always have to speak your mind about things, but it also means that you don't have to always be quiet yeah. because if you have something to say, you should say it. But not in a disrespectful way. It's not how you. It's not what you say. It's how you. Say. So being submissive comes from you having a leader. So if it's not being led properly, then it's submissive shouldn't even be on the tape. Free game alert. Good point. Good point. And hey, you that motherfucking bitches don't need to be with niggas that you can't submit to in the first place. Give me and Biz some pussy. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> This fucking that weak ass nigga anyway. I been told your ass that shit, Kyo. I been told your ass that shit. You ain't had no reason your fine ass goddamn yeah, mobile did. dealing with that goddamn lame yeah. ass nigga. You should have been over here. I wanna hear that shit. Stop picking wrong. Stop picking wrong. Y'all be picking wrong. There's plenty of good niggas out here. Y'all just don't pay them no mind. You know where all y'all good niggas at? You know where the good niggas at, ladies? I'm gonna give you some game. Free game. Free game alert. If you go on your Instagram, <laughs> into your DM, <laughs> And you scroll all the way to the right. To the right. It's some shit called message requests. It's a whole bunch of niggas that been trying to holler at y'all since 2019. Just in some good niggas. Just, just chilling in there. They is in there. He done told you happy birthday, uh, Merry Christmas, happy <laughs> Valentine's Day. He even tried to what your cash yep. Such you, little emoji, you, you know, eyes and hearts. You know, you, know, you know how they do it. They look at it. Bloop. Read it. Then look at it paid. Oh, he got an Android. Put that bitch on unread and put it back in the phone. <laughs> That's how y'all do it, Lex. No, you know what the problem? What the problem, baby? This shit be suppressed. When you first meet a nigga, mm. all, all the checks be checking out. Okay. He got money. Oh, mm. uh, he got money. He it, you know what I'm uh -huh, saying? Uh -huh. All the checks be checking out. Soon as that shit get deep, soon as that nigga get some, soon as that nigga start falling in love, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the shit ain't suppressed no more. This shit yeah. come out. So I just, so you mean to tell me after you gave me some pussy, I became a broke nigga? No, nah, I'm saying. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. No, understand. No, not that you become a broke nigga. Okay, I'm trying to figure out. Not that out. you become a broke nigga, but you start acting like a hoe. Okay. Since you went tripping on in the beginning, you tripping on that. Because, it, it, and so it's not because of the fact that you're my girlfriend and I want you to actually conduct yourself as such. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So, I mean, I'm just saying, because if, if we were just. wasn't broke. If it, I mean, if it wasn't what it is, if it wasn't broke, don't fix don't, it. If it was, we were rocking how we was rocking, okay. it was good, All right? Or whatever, then why a <laughs> few months in, yeah, or whatever, you do this switch up? Like, maybe it's because I see a future with you and I want you to be a wife, so I want you to act respectfully. <laughs> Maybe it's because God damn it, I see a future with you and I want to have kids with you and I don't need your ass out there having my ass out in the street. 
or maybe it's because I see a fucking future, some generational wealth, and I want to actually goddamn make this shit serious, so I don't want you doing the same hot girl shit goddamn spread eagle on fucking Instagram. How about that shit? Maybe. Or maybe you just want to be a side bitch for the rest of your fucking life. I don't fucking know. Maybe. Uh, no? Y'all, y'all lose y'all mind. <laughs> So we lose our mind when we fall in love. Y'all run a bitch away. When y'all fall in love, y'all don't know how to control y'all emotions. Emotions. And y'all run a bitch away with this shit. We get emotional. Yeah. You popped up to my house while I was fucking with Kiara. You're emotional. Why you popping up in my house? You're emotional, one. I was handling my business. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay. Cedric, Cedric, you heard two dollar super chat. He says I'm triggered. Come on now. Y'all get them likes up, gentlemen. Oh, we man. appreciate y'all in the chat. We see y'all. We see y'all. Yeah, we man. See y'all. Fuck marriage, dog. You know, you hear these women? Just, fuck it. Fuck marriage. Fuck marriage. Uh, yeah, that's the way y'all seem like it. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, why is it hard for you? Why is it hard for women to be submissive in 2024, Kier? I don't think it has anything to do with the women. Um, I'm going to piggyback on Let's. I feel like it, it starts with the men. Okay. I grew up in a two-parent household. My parents been married for 30 years. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I, I get I got to see that growing up. Okay. And how you men act nowadays, my dad never acted like that. Mm. I never seen that. I never seen those traits. I never seen, you know, how... Um, I, I don't know. It's 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 a lot of different. But you're I, gonna I come at men. You gotta tell us what what, what you're coming at. What do we do? Y'all do a lot of different like what? shit. Like y'all y'all. I don't. can tell you what you do uh, verbatim. Go ahead. You can tell me what I do. I can tell y'all what y'all do. I'm just saying you saying that men are not acting the same way. What are we not doing? Y'all, what are we lacking? First in? of all, y'all don't like to leave the household. Y'all feel as if leading the household now is is just it's far fetched. Y'all want to do fifty fifty. Y'all scream that all okay. day long. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what y'all love to say. We gonna do 50-50. It, 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 and I never heard of that. But I come from a two-parent household, so that's what I'm saying. Like, my mom was a typical stay at home with the kids or whatever, and my dad worked. That's just what I grew up on. I, I, I love that, and that's beautiful. So what is preventing you from having that? I mean, like I said, a lot of men 50% don't believe of the in bills? that no more. Y'all don't believe in that no more. You don't believe in what? Do no, the niggas, you, the niggas you pick don't believe in it. Once again, you going for the niggas that's jumping up in the club when the bottle come and they didn't pay for it. You're picking wrong. When are women going to start taking accountability for the fact that y'all picking these wrong ass niggas? When are you going to take accountability for the fact that you are not a good judge of talent? Thought that nigga was a hit, that shit was a dub. His fucking mixtape went double plastic. When are you going to fucking goddamn take accountability for the fact that you can't, you can't understand the difference between him and them? You need to know the difference between if you see a him walk in here and how to talk to him, how to be with him, and how to love him. Y'all talking about them, them niggas that y'all be giving goddamn time to, and y'all can't tell the fucking difference. Whose fault is that? You pick them, nigga. Pick it up. Why do men do this? When your girl is being submissive, okay. loving on you and seeing about you and da 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 y'all be cool on this. Who said that? Y'all be cool. No, y'all be cool on this. When a when a bitch loving on you and trying to love on you, okay. and y'all be cool on this. But then when we get y'all the cold shoulder, mm-hmm. that's so, when y'all so, be on. So that. what do you mean? What do you mean by? What do you mean by? I'm sorry, I'm 41. I don't really understand. Cool on you. Uh, what do you mean? What What am I doing that's making you feel that I'm cool on you? Am I still paying bills? No. Am, I'm not. Am I still paying the bills? I'm pretty sure, because you wouldn't be here. No, see, this the thing. Right, so if I'm still paying bills, do y'all want women? If somebody came, if somebody, if somebody, if somebody, y'all ass out because when women being submissive, y'all, y'all ain't fucking with that energy. Yeah. They run over it. With what? Bitch dogging you out energy. Okay, I'm let me. behind that. When a bitch loving on you, mm-hmm. y'all don't want a bitch that. I don't. Like, I'm confused. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, you, you're, I'm confused. You're confused because it didn't yeah, make I'm sense. I'm confused. 
Because you saying that we want a woman to dog us out, that's what we like, but we don't like, like a woman taste. loving on us and being all about us, is what you saying? I'm saying them women that be being submissive mm -hmm. and dedicated yeah. and all that, yeah. y'all saying y'all yeah. want, y'all dog them hoes out. No. You call them pig teeth and all this other shit. This is what the problem is. When these women find a man, a man that they want and want to be with, y'all try to dog them and talk about, oh, use a this and use a pick me and this and that. No. But guess what? At the end of the day, y'all be the single ones and she be with her man and her family. You got to stop trying to do that on okay. Trigger Motherfucking Alert Stage tonight. Okay. And let's get this clear. All men do not cheat. Stop trying to squeeze that in, Kiara. You okay. stop trying to squeeze that shit in, Lex, because y'all met some niggas. No. That did the wrong motherfucking I, thing. I, I no, that's that's not how that shit go. I give you some free game. I, the okay. question is not I give you some free game. cheat. The question is, why do these submissive girls yeah. get cheated on? Still get cheated on. Okay, so I, 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 okay, I, I, I answer your question. Okay. Them hoes ain't turned. I, you, you, do you want me to answer your question? You're still talking. Over here. She's still she's, she's, she's triggered. She's tri she's that's the that is right she's there. Right there. That's what the problem is. She doesn't want them hoes the ain't turned. No, them hoes aren't supposed to be turned. They're women in the house with their men and their family. They have to get money and do things. No, in your perspective, <laughs> niggas is cheating. See, what it is, you can't take the men and then... And you the know what's lit? Goddamn it, being a goddamn good wife. You know what's lit? Being a good mother to your children. We got to stop motherfucking goddamn glorifying whole shit. All right, you know what's lit? Your kid being on honor roll. You know what's lit? Your son having a mean jump shot. Not fucking goddamn popping ass on OnlyFans and selling cat virtually. That's what's lit. Y'all talking about a lit bitch. Your, your, your idea of a lit bitch is pathetic, quite frankly. How about this? How about a, a lit bitch is a woman that has a degree or a license or a skill or a business or some goddamn sense about herself? That's some lit shit. This goddamn whole 304 shit, this city girl knockoff sexy red bullshit that y'all talking about niggas don't want to cuff that. We gonna fuck that and drop that shit off at departments that it came from. Ooh, shit, I'm cooking. Tyrone Lane, 499 Super Chat. It's hard for some women to submit because most men not submitting to God to them, to, to God for them to submit to the man. Facts, bro. All right, Tyrone. Tyrone coming with some games. You right. This is my thing. You talk about, you talk about cheating. And I understand it's very, very triggering to your ego, just like it is with all women, right? I, trust me, you're not the only one. But this is the thing. If this man is protecting at a high level, providing at a high level, and he hasn't brought you any babies home or any diseases home, what do you lose by him stopping by Kiara's house on Tuesday in the relationship? You want to be in an open relationship so bad. He don't want to be in an open relationship. He want to be with you and then stop by Kiara's house. What is the problem? I always wondered that. Like, what is the what is the main? Can you give me a logical issue? If me, I'm your I'm your man. I, I pay all the bills. I got a question. Hold on, I got you. I got you. Now y'all triggered. I'm your man. I pay all the bills. If somebody was to break in this house right now, they gonna have to shoot me before they shoot you. I'm I'm the motherfucker that's jumping in front of the bullets. Okay. I I don't bring no babies home. I ain't bringing no diseases home. Every time the motherfucking goddamn bills come to the, it, my, 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 my goddamn bills on uh, uh, auto pay. Auto, pilot, auto pay. Hold on, hold on. I got what is the problem? It ain't no problem. If I stop by Kiara's house. As long as I don't bring no baby home and no diseases home, okay. we, we gonna rock out like that. So you're you, saying that you, you want to be able to do it too? Huh? Why you want to do it? Because I pay fucking bills. <laughs> And that shit's stressful. See, women want to be niggas until it's time to pay for something. You would never pay for my bills, queen. And them Team Jordans you got me at Christmas ain't hitting on shit. I just, what I'm going to need y'all to stop doing is thinking that y'all can do what a man do when y'all don't pay what a man pay. What the fuck you think I'm paying your bills for? You're a whole goddamn grown adult, and I'm taking care of you like my child. 
All I get to do is the fuck I want to do. If you got a problem with it, you can carry your ass to the nearest partner and pay the motherfuckers yourself. I do not understand how women expect men to treat them like they fathers that some of them never had and then turn around and think that we gonna listen to what the fuck y'all tell us to do. No, you wanted the leader. You wanted the rich nigga. You wanted the lit nigga. Well, I'm doing lit nigga shit. I got a question well, though. I got a question so you got here. Just because you pay bills, you hold shit down, that gives you validation to cheat. Nope. No. Nope. nope. No. What did you just say? Nope. No. What I said was. You confused me. Nope. Cause, 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 cause y'all, cause y'all listening, y'all listening to reply, not listening to comprehend. She triggered. The nigga, I'm cheating. <laughs> he got me. So you said nigga. He got nigga. me. Long as, and, and we gonna be good too. Long as I ain't bringing no babies. He's gonna be on the five o'clock news. Okay. That nigga gonna crash out about that pussy. It's an open relationship. That nigga gonna crash out about that pussy. It's an open relationship. Well, it's not open shit. You down hey, for it. I'm well, rocking how you rocking that. You well, want one too, so y'all want one. I ain't bringing no babies. In Right. Well, he's talking about he's bringing, he pay the bills then. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you want. something. Hold on, hold on. Let me break it down for you. Let me pay the bills then. Hold on. Listen, let me let me tell you some real shit. If we cause see, you're talking about role reversal. Okay, cool. If Oprah wanted to marry me and she got me staying in this big ass house. With Miz, hold on, cause we're talking, cause we're talking hypergamous. Women are hypergamous by nature. Hold on, but I'm not muting the mic. Okay, so if Oprah wanted to marry me, and she got me staying in this big ass house, your mic, your mic muted. And she got me staying in this big ass house, and she put a hundred million dollars in ugly money entertainment. I don't give a fuck if she fucked Gwen on Monday or Stabman on Tuesday. Come see me on Wednesday. My grandkids are millionaires. Why motherfuckers don't look at the major picture? That's Oprah. She can upgrade my whole life. You are ready to walk away from a good man because he does the same shit your daddy did, your brother did, your baby daddy did. And the whole time, I'm ready to break up the whole fucking family. How, how much sense does that make? Now you paying bills depressed and got to go see a nigga like Nate on the fifth because you're going to be locked out. You're going to be kicked out by the six. Let's not talk about Nate. It's always an old nigga that's ready to help your little fine ass out. So now you go from being a wife to a prostitute. Congratulations. You want a cookie? Not a cookie. <laughs> All y'all gonna have to go I do is go see Nate. <laughs> we got some super chats we gotta read. Pop them out. Ten dollar GB GQB custom kicks. That's cap. Never cheated on my lady. We've been Talk. together for years. See? Hey. Real men know. Do they, they lady value? Come on now. Cheating on her ain't an option. Real men exist, so and, and so do women. The pickings are just slim. That's just somebody out there. Well, I didn't send him in the super uh, chat. That is a natural living human being so, speaking these things to you. So I, I don't want y'all to get the narrative that all men cheat. No. The niggas that you... Hold, can you let me talk one time? Hey, you know. Oh, geez, your little trigger there. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want you to get the narrative. I don't want you, you to get, I don't on want that you to get, I'm a man. You don't know this answer, okay? Hush, queen, please, if you don't mind. <laughs> All men don't cheat. It's the niggas that you pay attention to that cheat. You want the nigga with the motherfucking Range Rover outside, the nigga with the fucking condo in Buckhead. Yeah. You want them lit ass niggas, right? Yeah. Them niggas have options. And sometimes men that have options exercise them motherfuckers. Now, what you could have done. Is built with that nigga. Okay, I got it, Bill. What you could have done you is got, bill, it's you got, got you the littest. To because you're there. Yes, you could have got the littest nigga at Walmart. The best order filler bag shelf packer at Walmart. I'm your triggered ass now. You could have got the goddamn littest nigga at Walmart and help that nigga get to the motherfucking store manager and help that nigga get to district manager and help that nigga get to the point where he opened up his own motherfucking shit. That man is going to respect you a whole lot more. Because if you shoot in the gym with a man, you have more skin in the game. Y'all motherfuckers just wait for the nigga to build the gym and expect the motherfucker shoot whenever you want to. No hey. bitch, you going to share. Kiara, go ahead. No, you can't say bitches shooting in the gym with a nigga is going to reap which, you know what I'm saying? You're like, more likely to find a guy that's going to be more sure. Absolutely that way. not. I know so many niggas that get on and then they drop the bitch that held them down. Of course. So, you know what I'm saying? So you can't, you can't, you can't say that yeah, at no, all. No, 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 listen. You have a more, listen, then, uh, this, is what I'm, this is what I'm saying. This Because mm -hmm. we, we're, we're talking logical. It is a 99.9% .9 chance that if you get that rich nigga today that's already built himself up, 
that if he has an option, he may or may not choose to use it because you weren't a part of his ascension, his right? Plane, okay, right. but if you get my brother, um, Stan the Man right there, see him? And you help Stan the Man get his taxes right, and you empower him, and you 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 help Stan the Man find his studio, and you find Stan the Man a con contractor to build his studio, and you take Stan the Man from from a a, a twenty five hundred dollar a week nigga to a twenty five thousand dollar a week nigga, wow. you're gonna have skin in the game. Y'all motherfuckers would never. That's what I'm talking about. I don't want to hear it unless you got y'all say that y'all want Keisha and Gucci relationship, but you don't want to deal with fat Gucci, you don't want to deal with drunk Gucci, goddamn high Gucci, abusive Gucci, locked up Gucci, and motherfucking goddamn delusional Gucci. Because if, a nigga, if your nigga gave you a million dollars a day, that motherfucker would be gone in six months. It wouldn't have been flipped in three years. That's what I'm saying. I know I'm good. <laughs> No, since you How does it make sense? Saying, you basically saying she need to get a guy at the bottom of the barrel. No, you need to get a guy that's on your level. Which some of y'all women is bottom of the barrel. Okay. I ain't saying you, I'm saying no, some, yeah, women. some women. You need to get a nigga that make just as much money as you do and y'all try to come up together. How about that? that makes more sense. How if about you really that? want this super monogamous man that just loves you to death, you're gonna have to do that. What he's talking about is meeting a man on the same level that you're at, not where you wanna go, not a six figure nigga, not all this spectacular shit. The same level, the same type of vibe and the money that you're making. You get with that man, y'all put that money together, build and take y'all somewhere. I but agree. all this meeting this nigga but. sitting around in this foreign shit in the driveway of his big ass uh, condo and you want him to focus on you when your life goes, you got shit fucked up. You don't care about that shit. You should have been here when I had a blow up mattress and hey. goddamn no food hey. in the refrigerator. Hey, sir. Oh. When I want to hey. know about Pop your opinion. Pop but if you wasn't no. there for that part of the game, when you see me doing this shit, you need to fall back and just wait your turn. It's going to come to you. Just make most of it when it comes. But this shit ain't going to be guaranteed. You got to get in when you fit I'm in. lit right now. Right. I'm, I'm busy. Lit. I'm you know how that shit go, look, respectfully. <laughs> we gotta move forward. Pippin Kid, Pippin Kid, go ahead and wrap this up for us, brother. Okay, okay I need everybody to listen very carefully. Yes, sir. I'm gonna give y'all a psychological and I'm gonna give y'all a sociological perspective. Mm. Okay. I like what the sister Kier was saying because that kind of goes to my larger point. First of all, we got to understand there's some books that we need to read. Uh, Dr. Naeem Akbar. Psychological in images and changes of slavery. First of all, we still have a slave mentality. Free game Another book alert. you need to read is Dr. Kawanza Kajufu, The Conspiracy to Destroy Young Black Men. We also need to read uh, a, a, a famous sister, may she rest in peace, Dr. Francis Cress Wilson, Free The Black game. Man Penis. Free the Black Man alert. Penis is the real weapon of mass destruction. Therefore, there are a lot of systematic racism and white supremacy that goes to suppress the black man penis because the black man penis is the only penis that can go in any race and annihilate them, genetic Again, annihilation. Right. Then the other book that we need to read is yep. Chancellor Williams, The Destruction of the Black Civilization. Now get to the point of submission, right? A lot of our sisters will submit, as uh, Kira was talking about. But when you are in a single parent household and your mother is the tyrant, your mother is, is Saddam Hussein, the you little country, she's the dictator. Mm -hmm. And what man you know is going to challenge his mother? What woman you know going to submit to her child? That's a boy, even though he's 6'3", he's, he's playing for the high school team. So therefore, there's a, there's a, 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 a destruction on the black civilization, it's a lot of uh, social engineering that goes on that keeps us separate from one another. And therefore, these sisters, you know, the, the brothers too, they're growing up in homes where the uh, only authority is the woman. Who submit, what woman submit to her child? So there's no submission, but in Kiara household, you notice she said, these niggas ain't like my daddy. Hey. It's, it's, it's simple, man. It is, you know, you go back to the, the crime bill, 1884, crime bill of 1994, when they create what they call massive corporation, the, the prison industrial complex, and all these brothers in jail, all these brothers, like you were saying earlier, you know, they selling drugs, 
And a lot of women, I see, I was just on a, a, a show with Ice-T Hour before he came. He said, a lot of these guys, they sell drugs, and these women don't really fuck with niggas that ain't having no money. Hey. You know what I'm saying? So the dude on the block, he could be ugly as fuck. He getting all the money. That's what they're attracted to. So every brother feel that they got to sell drugs. Every feel they got to hustle, and they don't have no masculinity because they grew up under femininity, under femininity, under a woman. And that's why a lot of these women don't sell don't submit to these guys because they don't know how to be men. Church, preach, and tabernacle. <laughs> if they can't, they smoke it. That makes sense. Because you know what? Because you know what? When a nigga fuck you, and you got some nigga in you, you black. Immediately. You know, yeah. you, 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 if you have sex with a white woman, the baby gonna be black. You have sex with an Indian woman, the baby gonna be black. Hold you have sex with an Asian woman, guess what? The baby gonna be black. Black and black, yeah. Do you put the nigga dick in your ass, goddamn it, bitch, you black. Go ahead, go ahead and something. That, that's why it is so much money, beans and dollars spent to keep the black man down. The black woman is always going to be elevated. She's always going to be told to be independent. Because like you said, 1969, but you also had something in 1970 called affirmative action. You also have the, the, the white woman liberation movement, but the black woman took a part of that liberation movement in the 70s. So black women started cutting their hairs and wearing bow ties and thought they were white men and told the nigga, I don't need no nigga. That's the most absurd shit that you, even on my podcast, uh, I interviewed a lady, she's a stud, her name Chan, she's a dyke sister. I said, I said, Chan, if they put you on the island, I said, if they put you on the island and they put your wife on the island, I said, and you can never see nobody else. You're on Gilligan Island. I said, what's going to happen to y'all? She said, we're just going to love and fuck each other. I said, but y'all going to die. Hey. I said, even for, even for people that's in any type of lifestyle, they still need a monogamous, uh, a stray relationship to perpetuate whatever lifestyle they have. So these are issues that we got to understand in the black community that's bigger than, you know, say, uh, uh, this beautiful young lady, Miss Lex, you know what I'm saying? I need a nigga that's lit. Or Kiera saying that I can't find this type of uh, 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 queen saying some stuff like that. It's all about a system to keep the black man down. And they use the black woman in most cases. And that's why they say these niggas, she said, you heard what she said, these niggas weak. You know what I'm saying? They that. You know what I'm saying? Jerry Springer. Oprah Winfrey, you know, Murray. All that shit was complicit in creating the destruction of the black civilization. Real I, gym. I just want to say Go that ahead, um, when it comes to this type, this conversation in general, it's only with our race. Like, I, I, I have white, you know, friends or whatever. They never speak about this type of topic or, but it's just, like he said, like, it, it it is pushed on on the black people. I definitely think it's a bigger agenda. I mean, you know, yeah, we have fun with it, but at the same time, it it is definitely an attack on black men. Yeah. It's 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 definitely, and it's coming from not only from law enforcement, it's coming from other black men, and it's coming from our women as well. So our women don't respect us. Our brothers want to kill us, and law enforcement wants to lock us behind bars. We're an endangered species. Yeah. But you know, it, 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 but the only way that we're going to thrive is if that me and you find a way to compromise and live together and. Make more of us. Absolutely. And that's where the scary part for the mother folk is. We gotta move forward. Alright, this should be an easy one. Brought to us by Miss Ella's Kitchen. I wanna make sure I'm saying it right. Yeah, let's make sure we give a quick shout out. Uh, Miss Ella's Kitchen, where food is everything. They are catering us tonight. They are located at 5464 Rockbridge Road, Stone Mountain, GA. You can follow them at Eat Miss Ella's Kitchen. We want to give them a big shout out. We appreciate y'all for pushing up and coming through to the Trigger Alert podcast. You did. Okay. By a show of hands, who on this stage is a mother? Beautiful. Okay, good. Queen, you're going to sit this one out. All right, Miss Lex, this question, it's an easy question. Who comes first? Your dad, your son, or your husband? I'm going to say my husband. <laughs> then I'm going to say my son. <laughs> then I'm going to say my dad. Where your wife at? Okay, okay. Why you say your husband first? I'm gonna say my husband, cause. Talk to the mic. I'm gonna say my husband. Yeah, I say why? Why? Why your husband first? Him. Him. My baby don't play. 
my baby don't play. So if he's seeing about me and Bink, he come first, and then I have to hurt him. my dad. Okay, okay, okay. Same question, Kiara. Who comes first, dad, son, or husband? I'm gonna go with my son first, my husband, and my dad. I um, mean, I chose that order because uh, when it comes to my son, I'm I'm just big on um, making sure my son understands like the dynamic as far as his role as a black boy for one coming up in America. So um, that's that's just someone who I connect with like initially. And that's why you're not married. <laughs> Let's take it to the good word. Ephesians 5, 23, 33. Honor Christ and put others first. A wife should put her husband first as she does it the Lord. A husband is the head of his wife as Christ is the head and the savior of the church, which is his own body. Wives should always put their husbands first as the church puts Christ first. All that shit sound cool and everything, baby. But you can't argue with the word. So man comes first. John, he said put that woman first. He should have flipped it and said put that man first. Man follows God. Woman follows man. Children follow women. You just got your lesson today, and I know that's a million views. There is no rebuttal. That's in the Bible. Oh, no, I just got a question. You, oh, because it's in the Bible, that's... Okay. What's the I'm question? I'm not going to even go over that. What's the question? Um, so, because the Bible says to put your husband first, regardless of anything, so I, that's just what I don't understand. Like, basically... What don't you understand about the Bible? No, that's not what I'm saying with the oh, okay, Bible. Okay, okay. I'm just saying, regardless of anything, what any woman has to endure when it comes to a man, period, she has to put you first. So, she has to, she has to deal with all the infidelity... All, all the stuff that we were just previously talking about. Just because you're the man, you're the husband, you're paying the bills, that's what she has to tolerate. Well, you picked them. Okay. Whatever you deal with your you husband, just, you what just, you deal with. Ma'am, I am not about to have I am Bible not about scripture? to have a debate with you about scripture. Okay? The Lord said what he said. Okay. Now you can try to goddamn dress it up, fix it up, twist it around. It's in the good book. Okay, now I understand that your hot girl psychology is of your book. The sexy red spiritual is different. But in the real good book, you're supposed to put your husband first. I ain't say your nigga. I ain't say your partner. I ain't say your boyfriend or your fiance. I said your husband. By the time you guys get together and goddamn uh, say your vows in front of the church, that's your husband. He's first. Maybe that's the reason why. You ain't got one yet. It was a trick question. It was a trick question. Was, don't agree. There's nothing question. wrong with you not agreeing. There's nothing wrong with you not agreeing. We, okay. not agreeing. we only rocking with those who make sure us and the kids eat before them anyway. It, thank you. Because right. you shouldn't have married a man, right? You, would you marry a man that can't feed you? Okay. I think we taught you better than that. We only rocking with those who make sure us and the kids eat. Yeah, does your profile picture look like you would be with a man that won't feed you? Because if not, you can change it. Is that what it's giving? Because I can change it. <laughs> Queen, I got Super chats in there. A couple super chats. Queen, in there. I got you. I got you. we got to ask Queen this question. Like Same this question, very Queen. Contradicting. Father, father, son, husband. Who comes first? I would definitely say my husband because once you are married, um, you guys become one. So he would be right after you. Yeah. Amen. You know, I know I know that thing is 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 it's tough for women to hear because especially single mothers at the time because their world is so engulfed in their children. You know what I'm saying? So I know it's tough to hear, you know what I'm saying? But realistically speaking, a man and a woman can make more kids. It sounds harsh as hell. I know it do. But at the end of the day, like if if we were to get married or whatever, we can make more kids, you know what I'm saying? So 
I can't argue with the good one. We got a twenty dollar. We got a couple super chats. Hold on. J Shad, Article Fifteen Clothing, one ninety nine. Sexy Red Spiritual. Yeah, that was a bar. Sexy Red Spiritual. Right, that's gonna be on neighborhood talk. Yeah, get it up. <laughs> yeah, Jason, holler at me. Uh, Why Zaro, nineteen ninety nine. Fuck it, your show is fire. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate that love. Thank you, brother. All right, we got to move forward, man. Let them know what the next topic is sponsored by, Biz. Uh, next topic is sponsored by Shoe Crazy Wine. Shoe Crazy Wine is available uh, everywhere. You can find it online, and you can also find them on Instagram. If you go to the website, shoecrazy.com, you can type in that UM. Oh, boy. I think everyone here has passed fourth grade. Okay? Maybe, maybe not. Now, ladies, if you answer the question right, you will get a free sample of three young queens, shea butter, the best shea butter in the business. Yes. Organic, vegan, shea butter. Smell good, shea butter. Yes, and then you know what? My my knees, my, I mean, not my knees. Yeah, my knees, my ankle, my knees, my elbows, and my knuckles are chronically ashy until I got three young queens, shea chronically butter, and now I, they, they cured my ashiness. Chronically ashy. Is All right, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, first question goes to Aboriginal Queen. What okay. is the capital of France? Mm. Oh, I know these Everybody be quiet. France? Uh, Sicily? <laughs> Sicily, France, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. It's practical. It's a beautiful place. Now, uh, uh, ma'am, that, that right? No, ma'am, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> but I made it. I made it look good. Right. Sicily is in Italy. Right. She was close. The capital of France is Paris. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah the Eiffel Tower. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Take her there. <laughs> that nigga like. Now you know, goddamn. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Lex. Yes. What is the smallest planet on our solar system? <laughs> this nigga Google it. Hey. Hey. I'm gonna find the answer like I did. Use, use your resources. The smallest That's answer. The, the smallest planet on our solar system. Come on, baby. It's a rapper. His name is. It, it's a rapper name, but. C C Mercury. Give me my shea butter. Yeah, shea butter. <laughs> Give her her shea butter. Give her her shea butter. I was actually going to get it wrong. I was going to say Pluto. You're right. All right, okay, 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 Kier. Okay, Kier. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. What is 13 minus 9? <laughs> what? <laughs> 13 minus 9. <laughs> <laughs> I had to use my fingers. Four. Okay, go ahead. Shout out to little babe. Hey, God. Go ahead and get your shade butter, baby. Go ahead and get your shade butter. Go ahead and just, just pick one. Pick one. Pick one. Pick one. All right, Aboriginal Queen, we're going to give you another chance. We're going to give you another chance. We're going to give you another chance. All right. All right. Okay. You want a math question or you want a geography question? You said an easy question. Geography. Geography, okay, okay, okay. All right. What is the largest mammal on Earth? A whale? Yeah! yeah the right. blue whale! Get her, oh, get her three young queens. Go ahead and pick one, go ahead and pick one, go ahead and pick one. I'm talking about queen for nothing. Yeah. Shut your Googling Oops. ass up. <laughs> She's a good Googler. Yeah. She's a real good Googler. She was not going to give me that clip, boy. She was, <laughs> she was not going back to Mobile with that clip, boy. <laughs> I can hear them niggas now. Mercury, bitch. <laughs> wow. All right, man. All right, man. Uh, Country Boy 26 says, $2 says, that was no trick question. That is fact. All right, man, this is one of my favorite part of the episode where we get a chance and opportunity to have somebody come from the audience up on stage to ask a question. Now, I know my brother Rob Green is actually here. 
He always has dope questions. Rob, so, Rob, do you if you it, don't Rob. mind, come up on stage up and up ask the question one, for the panel. Rob, yeah. Rob, the man with the plan right now. Here you go, sir. Ladies, does body count matter? Oh, Question one. No. For a man or for, for a female? A, for, for both. A female. For, okay, for a female? No. Um, one at a time. Go ahead, Kiara. You said no. Why? I don't think it matters. Just, I mean, we grown, so you're my present right now. So I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm thinking about the past. Drop, a, drop my a bomb for her right now. That's my answer. Ooh, my so you're not thinking about the past, but but you want to think about my future. What is the past? So does your man? Does your man have to have a future? I said correlate though the future and the past. What's what's the similarities with that? Well, you want to make sure that I have a bright future. I want to make sure that you don't have a dark past. So my past is going to determine our future, though. Most definitely. These are opinionated questions. You don't think so? <laughs> she says. How, how would it not? It's very opinionated. How would? How, so check it out. Check it out. So you say. So you're basically saying that past doesn't matter. Um. No, it does not. Because okay. you're the same type of guy that might have a a more. Your body count might be as more as mine. You know what I'm saying? So. We got to take what we can if at 17, in the future. If at 17 I committed an armed robbery, if at 18 I did a kidnapping, and at 19 I had a, committed a murder, do you think that I'm going to be able to what be a school now? teacher? I want to be a school teacher. Okay, what are you now, though? Can I be a school teacher? In the present. Can, I'm asking, can I be I, a school teacher with that record? Ma'am, can I? No, I can't, okay? <laughs> so if my past matters, why wouldn't your past matter, ma'am? If the decisions that I made in my past affect my if the decisions that I made in my past affect my future of wanting to be a school teacher, then why would your decisions in your past not no, saying no, you no. Uh, being a, a thought with respect uh, uh, affect the fact that you, you being a wife? The teacher is the only path in that direction. You could go another direction. You could choose another direction. If you can't be a school teacher, go I want to be a school. But <laughs> what I'm basically saying is, man, my past. Matters. My past will dictate my future. So you're saying that your past shouldn't dictate yours. No, but I'm saying you you try to bring up being a school teacher or whatever the case may be. No, I don't like, feel like the past should dictate anything. Whatever. But what logic do you have to do to prove that? Because I just proved that the past matters. With a job, we talking about with a relationship. With the I'm gonna okay, accept okay, you as okay, you are. Okay, check this out. Check this I'm out. I'm gonna accept you as you are. All right, all right. You, you got a boyfriend, right? Right. When he was 16, he used to suck dick. Uh, what? No. What? Well, we talk about. Let's talk about it. Talk Your boyfriend it. at 16 used to suck dick. Right. He was. He. He thought he was gay. Right. Okay. Now he's with you. Right. Are you gonna be with him? No, I would not. Okay. The past matter. <laughs> Hear that bullshit? You want a motherfucker be a hot girl all goddamn summer and think you can goddamn bury them bodies up under the bed? No, ma'am. You cannot erase those bodies. Okay. <laughs> Some of y'all motherfuckers make bad decisions, but want a motherfucker, want a motherfucker to have and grow a family with. No, I need to know what kind of decisions you make. What are your problem-solving tactics? How do you deal with situations and pressure? Because uh, if in the past you have let yourself be manipulated by every Tom, Dick, and Harry in Clayton County, then quite frankly, I don't want to start a business with you, ma'am. Make bad decisions. Go, give me one more, Rob. No, nah, no, nah, same question, Lex. Same question. Personally, I would say, for me personally, body count matter. But I'm not finna let a nigga know that body count. Like she gonna lie. I'm gonna <laughs> have my body count. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying if I'm dealing with a person or whatever, like I don't want my body count how. But if I'm dealing with a nigga, like, if you asking me, like, what's your body count? I'll make you feel like, bitch, why you worried about my body count? So uh, it, it matters, I, but he shouldn't, he shouldn't ask. Me, but I don't feel like it should matter for a nigga to worry about True. it. True. Okay, as long as it matter to you. I kind of like that. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Not, you know, I'm considering my body count I think. when I, you know, how I move. But as far as you pressing me about my body count, Man, get on with this shit. So can you press me about my bank account? 
Is there a certain amount of money that I have to have to be able to date you successfully? Hey, you can keep this to yourself. Okay. As long, long as you making it look like what did you look what it look like to me, then I don't give a fuck what the actual digits say. Long as you know what I'm saying. No, I don't know what I'm saying because if I made it look like something, but it won't there, yeah, they got damn it, that bitch and ran out. So is that a problem for you? Because I, I made it look like I, I was had I had money in the bank account. I ain't feeling the heat. Oh no, you you ain't feeling the heat because the goddamn heat ain't on. I didn't pay the light bill. Is that an issue for you, ma'am? <laughs> yeah, let's get to it, baby. Yeah, you won't trigger like it. Yeah. Oh, the heat's not on, baby. I don't have it. I made it look like I had money. <laughs> I made it look like this was a protect. I made it look like these were BBs. I made it look like I had a car outside that cost a lot of money. That, that's Ben's car. Are you okay with that? I'm not okay with you. Okay, so why the hell would I be okay with you making it look like you own a thought since fourth grade? Not meeting you personally. I'm talking about you as an ideology. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, for real. No, think about it. You gotta make sense. What, which, what, 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 what's the ideology? As an ideology, if you say, if you say, if you say, if you say, how we say, going? What, what direction we going though? Because it's like you be signing. You be trying to. Well, we, well, I'd already debunked yours because you said you weren't gonna, you weren't gonna marry the nigga that used to suck dick. So you just need to hush. <laughs> right now, I'm you just lose, you're losing. You're losing this battle. You, you already battle. not gonna get date the little gay boy. You tried to argue with the Bible. Go ahead, go ahead. Matter to y'all. For me, That's for sure. For sure. Why? What, you said, sure. does, does, I mean, would, if you used to your sell pussy count? in your past, and yeah. I find that out, and you want me to marry you, and then we figure that you used to have a, a OnlyFans, and we could all subscribe and watch it on I think that would matter. I, I'd be like, damn, I don't know. I don't think yeah. I want to. So yes, for me, it, it would probably matter. That's just for me. I'm just saying. Orange speaker, okay. do body count matter to you? Absolutely. <laughs> he's a, he's a, yeah, he's a we didn't judge you for your answer, Lex. Why Nobody got it? out their body. Like body count matters okay, because cool. it depends on what kind of sex you're actually having. Okay, cool. All right, so body. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait a minute. Everybody is having wait, like full wait. blown like sex where you're like, oh my god, I can't fuck her after that because some of these niggas be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what if you, what if you was fucking dirty niggas? I was one type of fucking. Ain't no. Trying to break down the fucking. Oh, it's all fucking. It's a lot of fucking yeah, going I'm, on, and we're not comfortable I'm with you doing too much yeah. excess fucking. Yeah. If you had maybe a man that someone you was with, whatever extended period, we could fuck with that. You had one or two boyfriends. But if you fucking had 15 boyfriends and we know 10 niggas you used to fuck with, it's too much. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, for a man, numbers and body count, it does matter. If you want, he wants to wife you and take you serious. Big A. Wow. No, the wide. small age, the big age, the wide age, every age. Does that apply to yeah. me? Does that, apply? does that apply to what? Does that, does that apply to does or, that apply to do you mind if I had if I had sex with two hundred women in my life, would you care about that shit? I don't care. Two hundred women. How many women? Like, oh, look at you now. You told oh my God. Like, oh my God. Yeah, it cares for you. Know. Okay, 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 okay. This 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 is the thing. This is the thing. Well, the reason why women the reason why women don't care about men's body count is because of the fact that we have to have value to be able to have sex. Talk Meaning, about it. if I am able to sleep with you, that means that I have some sort of value, status, money, position to get there. You're not gonna screw a nigga that, li- that, that walks up the side of the road. You're not, let's be real, okay? So that's why women don't care much about it because men have to be valuable to get y'all. Now, the reason why we care about it is because of the fact of the matter is that's you guys giving your value away and you're making bad decisions. The fact that this is your golden ticket and you have just frivolously thrown it around all of Clayton County. I don't know why I'm on Clayton County. You're on Clayton back. County. Bump thrown it tonight. around all of Clayton County. <laughs> then that's going to be an issue for me because of the fact of the matter is that you're making bad decisions. So what happens when I give you my credit card? Or what happens when I give you some stock options? What happens when I put this house or or, or, or rental property in your name, you're gonna make bad decisions. You don't see where that goes together, Kier? No. She yeah, she just thinks she can just do whatever the fuck she, she wants to do. I do whatever the fuck yeah. I want to do. Yeah. 
Yeah, give me a credit card, nigga, and just give me a credit card. I'll figure it out when oh, I get it. Oh, shit. <laughs> when I get the pen. And, and y'all gotta understand it. It's not the fact that niggas won't fuck. No, niggas will fuck a hoe. We'll fuck. That's what hoes are used for. They use the fuck. But we're not gonna cuff it. We might, we might put it up. We may spend money on it, because niggas with money, you know what they do? The things that they want to get rid of, they throw money at it. So you thinking that this man likes you because he's giving you money. No. A nigga with money make money make money make shit go away. I'm gonna give this bitch this two hundred dollars so she get the fuck out my face. You think what I'm saying? Men that have value give their time to things that they appreciate. They give their time to things that they love. Fact. If you thinking that I'm just giving your ass $100 and, oh, he like me. No, bitch. I just, I just really wanted you to get out my fucking house. <laughs> oh, you still seem confused as hell, Kier. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> I'm taking it in. How, how, how? <laughs> Are you cuffing something that you didn't fuck? <laughs> Am I that would never work in life or America or anything like that. <laughs> Drop a bomb. We don't even play those <laughs> funny games. We, that's we, we, that's not us. We never did that in our life. Respectfully. I mean, it just, it just got to be. We're not even saying that a woman got to be a virgin or anything. No, we're just saying, they're like, baby, okay, how old are you? Let's say you're 25. Mm -hmm. And you got 50 bodies. And that's two niggas a year since you was born. Or say you was screwing since 16. That's like the seven and a half niggas. Like you're doing too much. Doing a lot. And so I know automatically that this woman doesn't make good decisions. She makes permanent decisions with temporary emotions. You temporarily thought this nigga was the one 50 times. You yeah. made the wrong decision 50 <laughs> times. <laughs> Now, I couldn't do that as a man. What if I tried to open up a business 50 times and I made the wrong decision 50 times and I wanted you to invest in it 50 times? You're going to be like, nigga, you got me fucked up. So how the hell you expect me to invest in you if you made the wrong decision 50 times? So what? Go ahead. Talk to the mic. It happens. You know, it takes trial and tribulations for people when they want to do businesses or, you know, they got to do... They gotta uh, trials and tribulations is one thing. We want to just like y'all. It, it, it should I have mean, to go to the motherfucking sex store and buy roses and all these. Yes, you should. You should rather play with the rose. And we respect the woman that play with the rose and play with these niggas. Salute to the women out there that said, you know what? I'd rather play with my rose tonight. I'm not going to add a body onto my body count. The dick that I'm used to not here. I can't Fact. get in touch with him. Fact. So salute to that lady for playing Fact. with her roles and minimizing the miles on your pussy instead of doing that whole shit. We love you and appreciate you because we will get to your pussy soon. You why, know what I'm talking about? Why, Respectfully. Why, why, why is it an issue that we want you guys to value yourselves as much, oh, as, nah. as, much as we value you? If you're my queen and you're my woman and the woman that I intend to marry, I want you to value yourself as much. Stop watering yourself down. You pressure for real. You know what I'm saying? You hurt for real. So why would you water yourself down and goddamn give this goddamn low rent ass two dick Tom and Harry Pookie Ray Ray ass nigga my pussy? I don't appreciate that. And I don't and I don't like the fact that you have made those decisions in the past. So we're gonna have to get a level of clarity or whatever of the fact of the matter is that do you make solid decisions and can you judge talent accordingly? That's all. The question at hand was, do body count matter? It matters. Ooh, look at that super chat. Super chat vibes right now. Okay, Salute. super Salute. chat. Salute. 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 Antoine Salute. Williams, 999. Salute, Antoine. $20 super chat, Laverne Gibbs. No man wants high mileage coochie that looks like Arby's roast beef sandwich. Yeah. Hey. Boy, you snap, sir. Antoine Williams, 1999. It's what men look at. Pass. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Reaper, CDL, 499. Ladies, why do y'all dodge accountability for having high body counts and cheating, then expect a man to be monogamous to you? Florida is triggered. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a hundred dollar super chat. Yeah. Why Zaro, 99.99. Y'all made my week. Should have found y'all sooner. Salute, my brother. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my live studio artists make some noise. This has been triggered. Yeah. 
All right, before we get out of here, we're going to go back around the room and give everybody a chance and opportunity to introduce, to once again, to introduce themselves. Let these folks know where to follow you at and anything you got to promote. Go ahead and get it in now. Go ahead, Kiara. Yes, again, my name is Kiara on this, in this Instagram, Kiara underscore D A N E, Danye. That's how you pronounce it, Danye. Just remember that, Danye. Kiara Danye. Kiara Danye. I know that's right. Salute to Kiara for coming through. Go ahead, Biz. Uh, Biz Just Chill, one half of uh, Trigger Alert. You can find me at B I Z Z Just Chill on all platforms. That is no spaces, no underscores. Yeah. Salute to all my triggers across the country. Salute another great show. We appreciate y'all. Go ahead, Queen. What's up, y'all? Once again, it's Queen. That's Ab Original underscore Queen underscore 14. And I'm a natural hairstylist. I do this every single day. I love what I do. I actually have an LLC in this. So shout out to everybody that come to me, come to my suite, come to Cut Creative. How can they find Indicate. you if they want to tap out? If the, tap in. They can me. find Ooh. me on Instagram or you can find me on Facebook. Shout out to your friend. Tell her I said hey. I'll, my friend. I'll tell you who friend it is later on. Right. She watching though. For sure. I'm well, shout sure. out to my homie Q. He I said with your he friend. Wants to want me to tell you what's up. Shout out to Q. Q. Yeah, I'm talking boy. about your friend. Let's talk about your friend. Right here. Hey, friend. <laughs> it's been a minute, she friend. Might be okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Lex. Come pop it, baby. Hey, y'all can find me at on um Instagram at Funhouse Lex. That's F U N H O U S D L E X X um, on Instagram. Me. I know that's right. Miss <laughs> Keisha on the live. <laughs> you didn't know. I just I was just making sure she was on the live. I was making sure she was up. Yeah, I ain't know. I ain't know. I got you fucking sure. with her friend. Just making sure. Larry, ready. Pippi Kid, go ahead and holler at me, man. Holler at him. Yeah, once again, like I said, I'm the uh, host of uh, A View from the Game, so you can go leave here and type in Pimp and Ken. That's my channel. And then you can also follow me on Instagram at RealPimpKen underscore. Uh, you also can get my books, The 48 Laws of Game, uh, Pimpology at... Uh, Audible.com, just type my name, Pippa King, on my other book, The Art of Human Chess. Make sure you go check out Boosie's book as well, The Cross the Tracks, uh, Ice-T book, uh, The uh, uh, Split Decisions. And uh, on April 5th to April 7th, we will having the Ugly Money Summit, and we also will be having the HHF and Ugly Money Awards. Thank you. Press, Press Scott Smith, $5 Super Chat. Thank you, my brother. And you guys can follow me at Ugly Money Nietzsche. That's Ugly Money, N-I-C-H-E. Once again, Ugly Money Music Summit, HHF Ugly Money Awards, April 5th through the 7th. Augusta, Georgia. Matter of fact, can we get this? Okay, cool. I'm going to shoot this commercial right quick. Y'all y'all stay with me. Biz, get ready. We're going to shoot a commercial for Augusta. You Let's ready? do it. What up, Augusta, Georgia? It's your boy, Ugly Money Nietzsche. B is just chill. And we are going to be live at Oak Restaurant and Lounge Thursday, February 15th. We're bringing the whole Trigger Alert team to come to the AUG. Yeah, we will be at Oak. Make sure you pull up, hit the website, tap in, get your tickets. Trigger Alert is coming to Augusta, Georgia. Salute. All the laughs, all the triggers, and of course, I'm going to be pushing the button. Go to UglyMoneyTour.com to get your tickets today, and we're going to get it popping. AUG, I'll see y'all soon. Way, you Remember the bigger the dream, the bigger the risk, the bigger the payoff. This has been the Ugly Money Podcast. Trigger alert! My last studio audience makes it. Another one. She gonna be independent of them goddamn popcorn and But we much litter. Out here, y'all can eat BBLs and y'all do all this, and y'all don't even have a car. You just shoot trigger. Hey, you always jumping up, Sam. But we much bigger. The same they lit. But we much litter. Yeah, but you trigger. You trigger. 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 Five people on her OnlyFans talking about you. We got damn 90,000.